Hey, so what's up guys? A big happy new year to all my subscribers and viewers out there. This is Matt here with Droid Tech. And today, I decided to do something a little special as it's the first video of 2018. I went down to my local IT store to see what I could get with just 50 ringgit. After much uh, looking around in the store, I actually found two items right here. These two items are not to say unique, but they do serve the purpose of making your lives a little better, a little more convenient. So without further ado, let's crack open these boxes and see what the contents look like. So guys, the two accessories here is actually the Magnetic Carmel by Basis. If that's how it's pronounced. And it's an original product. Of course, there are many counterfeits out there. So you have to go to, um, not to say official store, but a store which is reputable to actually get one of this. So this actually sticks onto your car windscreen or any flat surface as long as it's smooth. And there's a magnetic plate inside which actually has to be stuck to the back of your phone. Let's crack into this box right now. So the first thing we see on the top of the box is actually warranty card right here as well as another warranty card I guess yeah two warranty cards I have no idea why should be only one so you put that to the side and then that's the suction mount with the magnet right here uh, there was only rose gold left so I decided to just grab it for this video uh, I don't mind the color since it's actually just on this mount and not on the plate itself so it's not, not too bad so it works just like all the other car mounts where you actually adjust, use the thumb screw to actually um, loosen and adjust the angle that suits you. And here's the basis logo right here with the magnet inside. And also there's a length adjustment right here at the bottom, thumb screw, which you open and you can adjust to your desired length. It is actually not too sturdy i would say but um i guess when you screen the thumb screw it should be sturdy let me try and see yeah it's pretty much sturdy but of course it still wobbles to the left and right but it's not too bad i mean for 20 bucks you can't go wrong with this let me see what else is in the package so we also have the metal plates which you have to stick to the back of your phone two metal plates if you guys know the Spigen Slim Fit, I think uh, that's what it's called. You can actually stick this inside the case as it will fit perfectly in the cutout. But I'm not sure after sticking this, you will still have wireless charging. I don't have a wireless charging base at the moment. But when I get one, I would actually test it out. So you can see basis branding here. And there's also a round plate which actually just sticks to the outside of your phone, just something like this. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but it serves its function. Let's see how, how strong this magnet is. See? See, it sticks very firmly to the magnet plate. Also, this one, let's try this. See, it sticks on very perfectly, and it doesn't come out unless you use much force to actually pull it off. So inside the small Ziploc bag, we also have extra stickers or should i say double-sided tape so that you can reuse this mouse once you are done with your phone or do want to change other cases i guess so there's a round one as as well as there's also a rectangle replacement sticker so that's all in the box let's move on to the next product let me keep put all this to the side okay so the next product we have here is actually a lightning to 3.5 mm audio cable if you're like me and and don't have a car stereo with bluetooth this will come in handy as uh, actually you can leave this cable plug to the auxiliary part of your car stereo and uh, have this lightning port plug to the base the lightning connector on your iphone it's particularly useful for people who use iphone 7 and above as um, those iPhones don't have a 3.5mm audio jack. I recommend this accessory though because 
of its price is only 19 ringgits, which would translate to about 4 US dollars, 5 US dollars around that. So it's not that expensive, it's very cheap product. Uh, but we'll see how this actually works out, whether it has any issues connecting, you know, Apple and their proprietary connections. So this is actually a cable by Chi Hang, if that's how you say it. And the length is 100 centimeters. English here is pretty much trash. Basically, this is quite a straightforward product. It's just a lightning to triple fireman cable. Okay, so let's crack open this box right now. So inside, all you have is just the cable itself. It comes in a variety of colors. Black, silver, the one here, as well as rose gold or champagne gold. Okay, so let's take this cable out of the box. So it's just a very short cable. Just nice for your car stereo. You don't have to like dangle wires around so let's put this box to the side as you can see this cable is not too bad um, this is actually aluminium it's not plastic so it's pretty good so I'll be trying this cable actually on my Harman Kardon Onyx Studio which I unboxed a couple of videos back um, this one has the auxiliary port right here so I'll be trying this cable up here and see whether everything works out as advertised okay let me grab my onyx studio oh by the way if you're interested in looking at this boxing i will link it in the description below so plugging it in and turning on the speaker okay so the speaker is powered on okay so now we're going to plug the audio cable the lightning portion of the audio cable in to my iPhone 10 and see whether everything works out okay so before that let me play a song so you can hear it's playing a track okay so now let me plug it in So you see it works, even though there's a slight delay, but it still does work. So I would say for just 19 ringgit, actually you can even get this for cheaper. Uh, I only got it for I think 14 ringgit. I recommend this for those people who love to play music in their cars and don't have a Bluetooth connection. But I do have a Bluetooth setup actually currently in my car, which I use actually the TP-Link Bluetooth receiver and plug it into my auxiliary port in my car since that actually uses micro USB to power but that is actually not a great solution as you have wires dangling around you know you have a 3.5 mm cable as well as the power cable for the the dongle so I wouldn't say that is a great solution but it does work for many phones and this only works for just the iPhone but I would say the sound quality is pretty good coming out of this as it uh, comes out digitally so I will try to find the links for this as I went to a physical store, not an online store. So I'll try to find the links for this cable or similar ones. I'll link those in the description below. So this concludes our video for today. Once again, Happy New Year to you guys. Have a great year ahead. Stay tuned for more videos just like this. Subscribe to this channel and like this video if you did like it. It really helped me out. Thanks for watching. Take care and peace out.